Firebase Studio versus Cursor. Which AI Dogman tool is right for you? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving headfirst into the world of AI powered Dogman tools and putting two hot contenders to the test Firebase Studio by Google and the sleek AI enhanced editor Cursor. Both tools promise faster, smarter app Dogman, but the real question is which one actually delivers? We built the same note-taking app in each tool to compare their strength, weaknesses, and overall vibe. Let's break it down. So first up, Firebase Studio is Google's brand new browser-based IDE, now powered by Gemini AI. Right from the jump, you're greeted with a clean chat-style interface, and you can hook up your GitHub pick a language like JavaScript, and TypeScript, or even go full stack with React, Flutter, or Next.js and you're off. We asked it to build a note-taking application with a sidebar, and honestly, it crushed it. Within seconds, it generated a functional layout complete with components for adding, editing, and viewing notes. It even set up local storage and suggested UI themes to boost the user experience. One of the coolest features is the real-time code preview and inline AI chat. You can ask questions, tweak code, and get suggestions without leaving the editor. Plus, you get Git version control, file navigation, and debugging tools all inside your browser. Deployment? It's a breeze. Just name your project, link your Firebase account, enable billing, and deploy right from the platform. No terminal, no third-party hosting, no drama. And real-time collaboration and completely free during the preview phase is also included in the Firebase Studio. Now, after that, let's head over and talk about Cursor. It is a desktop-based code editor that's basically Visual Studio code on steroids, built by Anysphere Inc. What sets Cursor apart is its steep AI integration. It supports models like GPT-4, Claude, and Gemini, and it understands your code base like a second brain. Whether you're writing from scratch, debugging, or refactoring, the AI steps in with smart suggestions and context-aware rewrites. We gave Cursor the same prompt, a notes app with sidebar. Initially, it leaned toward heavier frameworks, but after a quick follow-up, it pivoted to a simple, elegant HTML and JavaScript application, local storage included. But the real magic is the styling. We asked both tools to theme the app like a classic yellow legal pad, and Cursor absolutely nailed the look clean, nostalgic, and polished. Unlike Firebase Studio, Cursor doesn't offer one-click deployment. You'll need to push your code to GitHub and deploy via Vercel or your own server. More control, sure, but a few extra steps. Also, it includes a free version with basic features and paid plans unlock even more power. So the question is, which one should you choose? It really depends on your style of development. Use Firebase Studio if you want a web-based ID that's beginner-friendly, seamless deployment and real-time collaboration, tight integration with Firebase services to build and launch fast, all from your browser. Use Cursor if you want a powerful AI coding assistant within a VS Code-like environment, deeper control over your tech stack, support for multiple languages and custom workflows, smart rewrites, code understanding, and better UI customization. The main difference is Firebase Studio is for speed and simplicity. Cursor is for control and customization. So which one's your go-to? Are you team Firebase Studio or team Cursor? Drop a comment and let us know. So that's it for today's video. If you found this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.